Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. Today is another charity shop haul. I didn't expect to do yet another charity shop haul <laughs> this week but I was too early for my dentist appointment and I thought I'd pop into the St Oswald's Hospice charity shop which is a short distance away from the dentist and I got a bit carried away <laughs> and ended up running to the dentist afterwards. But I got some really good bargains and I thought you might like to see them. So let's get started. Our first find is this DKNY 1990s vintage slip skirt in a beautiful black satin style material with detail along the bottom. I thought this was a really good sale. It says it's a size 4 and 100% silk and it's a DKNY classic. This one was one pound and I thought that was such a bargain. Maybe tucked in um, with a white little t-shirt and some little trainers. I thought that was just a really cool addition to my wardrobe. I don't often wear things in a silky material so I thought that would be quite nice to style up. And for one pound you just can't go wrong. My next find was a brand new Marks and Spencer's dress from the Pauna range. I got this one for £3 and its RRP was £39.50 in this really eye-catching red, orange and purple houndstooth print. It's got quite a stretch to it and quite an interesting wrap design with ruching and it goes to about midi length and I thought it would be a really nice addition to my work wardrobe with like a, a red lipstick, a pair of heels, but yeah, why not try that? And that was only £3 for a brand new dress. My next find was in the Salvation Army and this was reduced from 2 99 to one forty nine. Beautiful Topshop dear dress with contrasting white and orange print flowers along with um, blue cuffs, blue floral cuffs, which really sort of make the design I think, with a pleated skirt and the blue floral edging on the bottom and an open back. It has a little bit of a defect this skirt, this dress, um, but I thought I'd just run this along my sewing machine, it'll be good as new. At 1.49 I thought it would be a good sort of addition to my summer wardrobe. My next item was this mint velvet sort of like cream cardigan with a button down detail and a silky little back there. I thought this would be really nice sort of maybe as a top with a little camisole underneath or unbuttoned over a little shirt with a skirt but yeah, that was like a really good little simple elegant piece to wear every day with long sleeves and sort of a bat wing style. And this one was only one pound. My next item was actually the first thing I saw when I walked into the shop. And it's this Calvin Klein charcoal grey jumper dress with long ribbed sleeves and sort of like an interesting ruching design very bohemian into like midi style and a little round neck I thought that was quite classic very understated and this was only £3 might be a bit too warm for now <laughs> but I thought maybe I put it away it can be warm with knee high boots in the winter maybe a nice coat and I thought that was a really nice thing to just put away for the winter. My next purchase was on the trouser rail in St Oswald's and now their trousers and skirts are only £1. I didn't really see any skirts or any jeans that I liked but I like these trousers. They're from the Betty Jackson Debenhams range. They were obviously £1 <laughs> and sort of like a thick grey wool material in this wide leg cloth style. 
I thought they were also quite nice to put away or maybe wear to smart meetings at work or dressing down with a slogan t-shirt and some trainers I thought that would be a great piece to style and then 14 as well so they should fit me and for a pound I thought I just could not go wrong with those and my next find was this Marks and Spencers grey and red polka dot dress with little adorable cap sleeves, little cinched in waist and a pleated skirt. This one was only £2 and I really love this. It doesn't look like it's been worn very much at all. And I thought I'd sort of go with my style at the moment with my really short fringe. <laughs> Um, a bright red lipstick, maybe a belt to cinch it in and I, I just really love that one. The next find was my first actual piece of premium high street, this jigsaw red and white Breton stripe t-shirt. I've never actually had anything premium high street before so I thought this would be a good place to start with a one pound t-shirt, <laughs> even cheaper than Primark. I really want to see how this performs compared to a Primark t-shirt as it might have a different fit to it or might actually be completely the same <laughs> but I'll give this a go and for one pound could not go wrong with that it's in really nice condition just a simple classic t-shirt <laughs> the next piece I spotted was this Marks and Spencers limited edition the little summer dress in a really eye-catching design, sort of very African inspired with reds and blues and greens and a little drop waist with a little flowy skirt and a lovely exposed zip with some brass, brass hardware. This one was only £2 and I thought that would be really nice for those really hot days not that we get hot days in the north I thought it would be good to just have just in case. My last find was in the last charity shop I saw before I had to give up and just go home. <laughs> and it's this Laura Ashley vintage floral dress with really exaggerated puff sleeves, a nipped in waist and really quite long skirt. I really love this, it's my favourite piece of the haul. I cannot wait to wear this and um, with a bit of brown bro brogues and um, a little belt, even like a straw hat maybe. <laughs> and this one was only £4.99 and it's got the really old fashioned 90s embroidered label there and I just really love that and it's just my favourite beads of the whole entire haul. And now that's the end of my haul. I think in total I spent about £20 on everything which I thought was was really good considering that one t-shirt might cost £20 in say Marks and Spencers. So I hope you really enjoyed my video and the things I've bought recently. If you like this video please like it and if you would like to subscribe please subscribe because I've got some quite good ideas in mind for future videos. Thank you very much for watching my video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!